but you tell them whatever you want to tell them about the setup of <laughs> The Boy from the Woods. The idea is with all the books that I try to write, and the same thing with the Stranger TV series. I want you to, to start reading it like, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night, and they're like, I'm just going to read for 10 minutes. And the next thing you know, it's five in the morning and you're cursing me and you're hating me. It's binge watching. That's what I'm trying to do. For books. That's what I'm trying to and do. And that's the yeah. way it feels. Thanks. And that's, uh, by the way, I did binge watch Stranger. I watched it in less than a 24 hour period. Yeah, I, know. I took like a three hour nap. <laughs> I fell asleep before the last two episodes, but I wrote you the next day. Yes, and I'm like, you did. <laughs> all right, that's so different than the book, but so good. <laughs> this Stranger is different from the book. The largest difference is that it's on, uh, well, it's in the UK, it's not set right. here. So why do you choose to bring your books to life in different locations around the world? I like, I think it adds a little spice to it. I mean, the next one I'm doing with Netflix is set in Poland, even though the book was set here. It's called <laughs> The Woods. Um, so I think it adds a little, makes it something different. I don't want the book to be exactly the same as the TV series. If you want the experience of the book, read the book. Right. The TV series, I want to do something a little bit different. And, and, and a book's a book and a TV series is a TV series. They shouldn't be exactly. The same, you know. They're different mediums. They are. One very should be much. more visual, and I, yes. I also like the idea of making stories that are based here more global. Yeah. For a global audience, because Netflix and all of the streaming providers yeah. now are global entities. Yeah. They're not just domestic. When right? you, when the show comes out, you know, all eight episodes of The Stranger, they push a button, Netflix, and it goes to 190 countries it's at amazing. the same time. It's amazing. 190 countries, so. And you Just are hands-on when it comes to, yeah. uh, at least for this production, and uh, I assume for the next, you are hands-on at that at that level, too. Yeah, I, I tr I, it's hard for me to let it go. This is kind of my baby, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's kind of hard to, to let it go, mm -hmm. so they let me participate a lot, which is nice. I love that. Thanks. And there are other writers that work on that. Do you find yourself forgiving or... Uh, Easy to, do you think that you, that they would say you're easy to work with when you see people messing a little bit with your words or your structure? Maybe. <laughs> so no. Maybe, maybe. Well, actually, one of the writers on uh, Road Episode 5 of The Stranger is my daughter. And I'm like, okay, we can keep a nice, safe distance. You oh. save over there. I'll stay over here. I don't know here. if I could do that uh, with my hard. husband, man. <laughs> I wouldn't work with John either. No, no, I love <laughs> <laughs> All right, so give him the setup for the boy okay. from the woods. So the boy from the woods, and I got the idea, give an idea how we come up with ideas, is I'm, I'm doing a hike through the woods. I hate hiking through the woods. There's no stores. <laughs> There's nothing to see. Like, There's I, no place to stop. I need a bookstore to look at. Right, this happening. I'm just walking these trees. And I saw a six-year-old boy walking around. I assume he's around six. I'm thinking to myself, what if? What if a six-year-old boy came out of the woods right now? We had no idea. He had no idea where he had been before. No family, no nothing. And now 30 years pass, and we still don't know anything about his life. His origin, yeah. Yes. And then another child goes missing, and he's the one who has to go find them. That was the start, the setup. I told you it's good. The woods. <laughs> you sold her already. Done. She's buying a copy. <laughs> That's the setup. So that's it's the, great. That's how it starts, right? And right. I love that. Uh, I asked Arlen literally last night. I said, when you get an idea that seems so far outside the box or so far away from the story plot line that you're already planning, do you start yet another storyline for yet another novel at the same time? Oh no, I just cram it on in there. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a lot this, in book this book goes so. Yeah, yeah. it's. I mean, and it's so having international relevant. implications affecting the entire world. This one and it's, kid missing sort it's, of a thing. Global. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> oh, it's so okay. hard. Thank you. <laughs> but you keep it relevant oh, and fast-paced. And if you want a great read, buy The Boy from the Woods. Wow. If you want a great view, watch The Stranger. You'll be up all night, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Uh, my darling, thank Thanks. you for Thanks coming. So I love you. Thanks. Now, now Harlan came prepared for the whole class, but I want you to know it's my house, my rules. Yes, everyone is going to get a copy of The Boy from the Woods. <laughs> you like it? You gotta buy one and send it to someone else. Deal?